Hello there, Maranatha family. Uh, Pastor Nelson and I have some announcements we need to bring to your attention. Yes. Uh, number one, Pastor Nelson, um, you and I heard, and most people heard, that the Johnson vaccine yeah. is not safe to use at this present time. Mm -hmm. So we are proactive, and the company that's going to do these vaccinations for us also been proactive. So we're not going to be using those vaccinations. So what right. are we going to be using? Instead of that, uh, we're going to be using the Pfizer, the Pfizer vaccination. And uh, that one has been proven to be very effective so far. There hasn't been anyone being turned back. But give us some more information why the CDC have been making a pause on this type of vaccination. And, and I'm glad you said that. There are many people who are skeptical of taking these vaccines because they feel that mm -hmm. these vaccines will make them sick or they're going to die or mm -hmm. whatever. Believe me, folks, just a few people have really gotten very sick from this, these vaccines, and that has not been wholesale. Matter of fact, even with the Johnson vaccine, because there were some concerns, very small, very the minimal, six. they pulled it off the market, mm -hmm. and they're going back to the drawing table <laughs> with that. But believe me, what we're doing yeah. with these is really to help our community. That's right. Yeah. As you know, our community, uh, the people, brown and black mm -hmm. people, you know, and, 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 and what have you, are yeah. the ones who have really been dying from this yeah. greatly. So we wanted to do this as an outreach to our community to That's let right. them know we care and that we want to do all we can to help them. That's right. That's why we went out to get this clinic to help us. That's correct. Yes. A and you brought that up, which is yeah. good. Mm -hmm. And that is this clinic, folk is doing this vaccination. That's right. This is not Maranatha doing it. Mm -hmm. We, what we're doing is facilitating yeah. and <clears throat> making our campus available to them. There is no lawsuit. Yeah. We're not liable <laughs> for anything. There is, as the people fill out a yeah. form to say that they will be responsible, this company is mm -hmm. not us, so they will fill out the, whoever does these yeah. vaccinations will fill that form and let the, the, the public clinic, know, yeah. the clinic know that, that they have their permission to use it. They have their permission to use it yeah. and what have it. Now, the vaccine that we will use, there will be a double dose. Uh, the people will have to sign for that as they come. They'll bring their ID. Now, also, we mm -hmm. understand that if you've already had your first shot, yeah. You can get your second, second shot, shot here mm -hmm. on the campus on this coming Sabbath, providing that you bring your card that has already been signed and stamped yeah. from your first one. You have to bring your card of yeah. uh, proof that you have already had your the first, first one, and so the second one you can get here on our campus. Is, is there a time limit? Like, suppose I took it two months ago. Can I come and get the second shot even though? Or there's a time limit? Time I think frame? it's, what is that, 21 days? Yeah, I think it's 21 okay, days. Okay, I think we said yeah. it was 21 days. If you've, if you've had your first shot and, you've, and you haven't gone back yet and you've waited 21 days, you can come and get your second yeah. shot here on our campus. Folk, we want you to know that we have prayed about all of this and we feel God's goodness and, and, and God's going forward and trying to help our community and what have this in folk, this is not mandatory. Right. Yeah. This is optional. This is optional. Yeah. No one's going to force anyone to take any shots. That's right. <laughs> and uh, believe me, even when it comes to opening up our church again, it will not be asked of you if you had any of these shots or not. We trust that you will make the right decision with God's blessing and That's help right. and with prayer and uh, what have you. So there are a lot of myths out there saying, yeah. oh, they're going to make us take the shot before we come back. That's not true. Mm -hmm. uh, we as pastors have not been, it has not been mandatory that we take them either. That's right. That does not come from any conference. So I don't know who's putting that information out, but that is not true. I've had mine. Pastor Nelson is about to get his. And uh, so we wanted to make sure that um, we do the best for our congregation. Yes. Uh, as from the study last week that uh, Dr. Allen uh, brought to us, which was very balanced, mm -hmm. and uh, we've had a chance to do some research and see 
uh, that um, when there is information for us to do better and to do good, we have to follow that information. That's the counsel given to us by the word of God. And incidentally, mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> I was listening to a piece from evangelicals who were far more skeptical of taking this vaccine mm-hmm. than most religious organizations. And to, not to my surprise, but it was interesting to listen to this piece because I like when the preacher said that the Bible Mm -hmm. should be our rule of governance so that when we follow what the Bible says, then the Bible encourages us to Mm -hmm. make sure that if it is not um, something contrary to it, that we ought to go forward. Mm -hmm. And I said, wow. Mm. Now, this this group is saying that and encouraging their members to follow the science Mm -hmm. and to make sure that they do the right thing. Yeah. We still believe in keeping our distances and wearing our face masks. That protocol we will practice here at Maranatha as best as we possibly can. Uh, With that said, then we're going to move on to the next one. What's happening? What's coming up this weekend, man? We we have some exciting things for our church family. Us at Maranatha, we just love our community. We just love all of you guys. And so this Saturday, Pastor, we have the marriage ministry. They are on fire. They are having a date night. A (laughs) date night coming up this Sunday. And it's going to be a fire. I'm making sure that my wife is here with me. And I'm making sure we're going to have a good time. A and, good time. And 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 so uh, we drove up in the parking lot. And what did you see out oh, there? Oh, man. Hey, if you've ever been to a stadium before, right at Maranatha, we have a stadium. Ah, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> we there, have a stage set up. It is setup. a beautiful stage beautiful. out right now yeah. as we speak out on our campus. And it is getting ready for this coming <laughs> Saturday night, yeah. date night. Yeah. The, the, uh, matter of fact, I got Sunday excited. Night, the 18th? The, the Sunday, the night, Sunday night. I'm sorry. No, Sunday it's, night. It's fine now. Man, we don't want you to miss the man, date man, now. That's right. Yeah. Matter of fact, I got excited. All about them wanting to put it a day ahead that's of time. Right. You're going to be so here early. Excited. Get your parking spot. I said, oh, boy. Yeah. This is wonderful, wonderful good news that's happening here on our campus. Mm-hmm. And as I said, our campus is coming alive. That's right. It's uh, The COVID is still out there, but so is Jesus still here too. Yes, hallelujah. And so we want to do what we can to attract as many people as possible yes. to be a part of this wonderful cause. I believe God will bless abundantly. Yeah. On, on the 25th. The 25th. What's happening the 25th? We have a board meeting that is going to be taking place on the 25th. And right before that, at 10 a.m., we have our family meeting. Our family meeting. Coming yeah, up. well, our family meeting will follow that. So we'll follow have the, the board, board meeting. meeting. That's right. The okay. family meeting. The, the board meeting will be at 10, and the family meeting will start at 12. Okay. Now, folk, the reason why we're having these mm-hmm. is because we want to fill you in on all of these fantastic That's right. things that our church is getting yeah. ready to engage yes. in. Uh, what's coming up in, in, in the month of May? Man, we have some exciting things. Uh, I'm sure maybe you have seen the video before, but Pastor Ian Joy, Dr. Ian Joy, yes, on fire for the Lord, is going to be preaching. Or a week of prayer. So we're going to have a week of prayer. We're going to have a week of All prayer. All right, man. <laughs> I'm, the week of, of, of spiritual emphasis is yes. coming up. You'll hear more about that in the mix. Um, and, 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 and so many wonderful, wonderful yeah. things. Matter of fact, next week we're going to have a baby blessing. Yes, the 24th. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. There, we've got a baby that, uh, mm-hmm. matter of fact... And, and, it's, and it's a missionary outreach because yes. these people are not uh, members of our church. Yeah. And they want their baby blessed. Hallelujah. And they've come and asked Maranatha yeah. to bless these babies. That's right. Yeah. This baby that's coming. So we're excited about what's going on. Mm-hmm. And as you see, if you watch, God is really blessing. Listen. Yeah. Tomorrow. Uh-huh. Early in the morning. Uh-huh. What's happening? Well, if you notice what has been happening, I'm sure they got it last week. Yeah. But we have our devotionals on the go. <laughs> and I'm hope you have been blessed. But tomorrow, Thursday, 
at 6.30 a.m., we have Pastor Drake Barber, your senior pastor, my senior pastor, coming on with a devotional. And what's happening on Friday morning? Well, Friday, man, it's the reverse role. It's <laughs> yes, our, sir. our assistant pastor, Praise Pastor Nelson. Yes, sir. Is going to be preaching at that same hour on Friday morning. We have developed some short devotionals yeah. just on the go. Yeah. It's just momentum on the go yeah. to keep you going and some spiritual nugget we want to put in your spirit. That's right. So that your day will go along quite well. Yeah. We're looking forward to it. Saints, we're glad to be at Maranatha. Yeah. We're glad to be a part of the Maranatha family. Let's walk together, children. We can't get weary. Yeah. There's going to be a great meeting where? Yes, sir. In the promised land. Yeah, in the promised land. He's coming soon, <laughs> and we want to encourage you. Let's keep praying for yeah. one another, folks. Yeah. Uh, our membership needs our collective prayers, yes. and I just want to thank you again for making my wife uh, a part of your prayer. Yeah. Thank you. She's doing so much better Hallelujah. in these last few days, and mm. I am just excited. I want to keep the Johnson fam, Cass Johnson and his family, lifted up in prayer as we go uh, through these pandemic and terrible times. Yeah. Uh, but we want to make sure we lift them up, and there are so many others Yeah. Um, <clears throat> we want to uh, lift up as well. And, and you'll hear more about this in the mix and on sabbath we're looking forward to uh this wonderful weekend matter yeah. of fact before i forget uh-huh how about the friday night service oh yes oh yes the, this the friday night service is you're talking about the steps of christ with the men they got the steps of christ the with the men christ. and what time and is then it? also with, with steps of christ yeah. That will be, I believe, at 7 or 6 p.m. Yeah. Uh, stay, look in the mix for more information with that as well. We had changed the date. But this Friday night, I'm, I'm thinking that's what you're talking yes. about. But this Friday night, we have Dr. Wesley Knight, who will be preaching for us at Maranatha live. You yeah. do not want to miss it. It's a marriage emphasis weekend, and we'd love for you to tune in this Friday night. It's going to be on fire. And this dynamic preacher is going to be preaching for us on Sabbath. That's right. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll be plugged into him for the next two nights, Friday night and Sabbath. Yeah. Friday night at what time? I believe at 7 p.m. 7 o'clock p.m. All of this is just in our service. Mm -hmm. Just in so a little vesper for you yes. on Friday night. And then Sabbath, our regular service, and Dr. Wesley Knight mm -hmm. will be our preacher yes. for our Sabbath worship. Mm -hmm. We really are excited about what's going on here. And so we hope you are too. Yes. Tune in. Get friends, family members. Bring them to our worship broadcast. Yes. May they be blessed like you're blessed. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thanks, man. Man, God bless you, my you friend. Too, buddy. Yes, man. God bless Maranatha. Stay Thank tuned. God bless. I'm you up and tell you. God bless. I'm you.